Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. We're showing one of the most popular, most iconic of all Hot Wheels, at least in this day and age, the 1971 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. That is the Boulevard version. We'll get to that because we have a couple of new versions to look at today, including the first Datsun wagon, Zamac, coming right now. It's hitting stores as we speak. Well, stores meaning Walmarts here in the United States. We're going to open that up, take a look at it, but let's walk through the Datsun wagon first. Like I showed you, the Boulevard from 2013. I have talked a lot about this. In fact, the Lamley blog, you could argue, was built on this Boulevard Datsun wagon. It came out in 2013, was supposed to hit stores. It really didn't. And then a run on TJ Maxx's and Shopco's back in the day. And this thing has become a legendary model from a $2 buy you could get back in the day to, what, $60, $70, $80 each. This is based on June Amai's own Datsun wagon. June Amai is the designer of this car. And I remember when I saw a prototype of this at JCCS. What That would have been, what, 2012, I guess? Um... June had built this version, and it has become an iconic car ever since. This is still my favorite version in green with the red real riders, metal base. I'll just show this to you right here. I know it's way close up. Metal base, red real riders. I mean, they probably would have done different rims had they had them at the time, but this one still looks fantastic, and you've seen it done, duplicated, sold, resold. It's just been a... It's maybe the godfather of Hot Wheels JDM cars. So let's take a look at that. But it didn't stop there. People like that. The following year, towards the end of the year, the Datsun Wagon made its mainline debut. Now this one also shares some similarities to June's Wagon. That Zero uh, Deco uh, with the JDM Legends. We've seen that on the RX-7 we showcased yesterday. Also, the Japanese nostalgic car, Speed Hunters. We've seen these uh, logos quite a bit on a lot of the Hot Wheels cars. And uh, this one was no exception. Now, you know, most of you, if you're collectors, that this was the one. This is a nice model with the MC5 wheels. But the one that people want, and maybe even more popular to many than the Boulevard, is the Super Treasure Hunt. The model debuted in the main line and also debuted as a Super Treasure Hunt. With the, what is it, the Spectra Flame Red, an additional deco on top, and of course, those real riders, those beautiful Watanabe-like real riders that Hot Wheels has done. Another crazy popular. I got, I got lucky and found this three times, twice at one target the same day, and once um, in a Kmart case, I actually found this one. So this one, again, continues to be a collector favorite. And as we walk through the history of the Datsun Wagon, you start wondering which one, if you could only pick one. Now there's going to be some, oh, none, none, I hate it. Who cares? But I know many, many of you do. And if you had to pick one Datsun Wagon, it's getting harder and harder and harder to pick. I'd still go with the Boulevard, but as we go through the history of the Datsun Wagon, you can see why it's hard. This was the next main line. After that, it was that 2014 Super Treasure Hunt. We saw it again, in this time in yellow, very... I think appropriate yellow. I don't know if the racing stripes really are uh, accurate, but the dots and logos on the back and on the front hood. OH5 wheels, again, JDM Legends logo, JCCS logo for the Japanese nostalgic, sorry, the Japanese classic car show, and then the Japanese nostalgic car logo. You'll see that as a recurring theme on this car. Um, over and over and over again. And it also, so we saw it as a boulevard, then we saw it as a mainline, then we saw it as a super treasure hunt. Here is its debut as a Kmart model. This one is the K-Day. This is a Kmart exclusive for the Kmart collector event in black. I think it just totally put that yellow version to shame with the gray OH5s. Just, it looks really, really sharp. I got lucky on this one. I wasn't able to make it to K-Days, but I walked into a rural Kmart, which is since closed, and found a few of these. I was very happy to find them because I collect the Datsun Wagon. Hot Wheels releases it. 
I collected. Now we had a run on black models. Now, see, I'm going to lose. Well, let's see. I'm putting this right here. I can't even see the date on that. That is the Hot Wheels Collector's Convention, what, from I think two years ago. And if you look at the date, maybe 2015, the Datsun Wagon was a convention exclusive. Members or uh, attendees were able to, yeah, look at the back rear, uh, the back license, 2015. So this would have been October 2015. The Hot Wheels Convention is coming up again, and there is a Datsun 510 coming, not the wagon. But here is a very, very sharp Datsun 510 wagon, the convention wagon with a Brie-like stripe. Almost, you could almost say more Mustang Boss than anything. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think it needs the logo on top. We know what it is with the cool license plate. I think the logo only takes away from it, but it was a convention exclusive. Maybe it could have been written somewhere else as like a racing, racing thing, but still beautiful, beautiful model. Would this be the one if you could only pick one? Maybe, because that one is pretty sharp. The kind of less is more with the wagon, I'm as far as I'm concerned. Here's the thing about the wagon, too. It's a wagon. There's not too many racing Datsun wagons. I remember the Datsun wagon because my some of my mom's friends had them. Grocery getters for sure. But this one is done in more of a racing style. Now you know what we're looking at here. This is the Japan Historics. The Datsun wagon shows up in all kinds of important um areas it was the, it's kind of the godfather of jdm and here it is part of the initial car culture batch japan historics which is legendary now even though it came out what a year and a half ago dotson wagon hokoska skyline can mary skyline rx3 and what was the the toyota 2000 gt but here it was in black and it was the also the debut of the new four spoke wheel with a stretch tire you can see it there Advan livery, you can't go wrong with the Advan livery. JCCS, Japanese Nostalgic Car, Greddy. Speed Hunters on the front. Is this the one? I don't know. It's pretty sharp too with its four spoke wheels. Okay. Now, just in what was it? The M case, we saw the next Datsun wagon. This one is not only does it have the Japanese Nostalgic Car logo on it. But this livery is kind of a shout out to JNC, who's been a big supporter of Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels has been a big supporter of them. They're cool dudes over there. And so not only did they get the logo on their car, which they've been on a lot of, of uh, JDM models, but they did this theme, the JNC Surf Patrol. There it is in, what is that, a sky blue, a baby blue with a very simple kind of nostalgic retro uh, livery on it or deco on it, we can say. 71 of course say hi to my dog who's barking that one is very cool you know the recolor is coming but in between this blue version and the zamac version another Datsun wagon kind of made its way out in kind of a strange way this if you haven't seen it before is well, what, what do you want to call it? The Brazil Convention Exclusive or the Mexico Convention Exclusive? I don't know. This story is still not over. It has not been told. So, Hot Wheels does an exclusive for the Sao Paulo or the Brazil Hot Wheels Convention. Here's the box. Right there, Hot Wheels. It's an official release. They do a Hot Wheels kind of a cool retro Hot Wheels style, a, a Brie kind of style. They do this box they do this really cool brazil uh brazil themed case you can see dots and bluebird 510 wagon in brazil colors green and yellow and then of course see i took mine out so there's the case that it would have come in except that the convention never happened so they shipped all these the convention never happened i have no idea why but now there's some in Brazil. There's some sellers that have them. I got this one from a very good friend of mine, Doug at Tea Hunted. You might know who he is. He's been a good friend of mine for a long, long time. Oops. But this was made for the Brazilian convention. It was also made for the Mexico convention. As far as I know, the Mexico convention is going to happen. Nonetheless, I don't know when, where, how you can get one. I got, I got one through these Brazilian sellers. You definitely can do that. Maybe they're going to be at the Mexico convention. It's going to be available there. Maybe they'll be available at another, in another way, at a, 
and the RLC store. I don't know. I have no idea other than if you're a Braz- if you're a Datsun 510 wagon collector, you definitely have to have this one because it is official release. Four spoke wheels, cool kind of retro deco on it. I've talked enough about it. I just don't know what's going on with this one. All I know is it's out. This uh, this one was um, this one was uh, acquired legally, so to speak. How do you say that? It was just appropriately. Uh, Mattel has approved the release of this to these Brazilian sellers since the convention didn't happen. But I don't know where else we're going to see it. I'm going to move this off, and now we are going to open the last one. Just hitting Walmarts right now. Let's move this Sao Paulo stuff. Uh, shout out to my friends in Brazil. There you go. The new Zamac JNC Surf Patrol Datsun 510 wagon. It's been a Kmart exclusive. It's been been plenty of conventions. It's been in car culture. It's been in Boulevard. It's been a super treasure hunt. Now it's a Zamac and it looks cool. You've already seen that uh, livery. Here is the card. Here's the card art. It's number 14. There's one more batch of Zamax coming after this one. This one comes with what a Dodge Dart and another unlicensed car, which I can't remember what it's called. Let's go ahead and open it up. Well, that was easy. Wow. <laughs> that was clean. Here you go. Zamac Dotson 510 wagon. So how many to release outside of any wheel variations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the 10th. So 10 Dotson wagons now. I'm sure we're going to see plenty more in the future. But there you go. Okay, that is a history of the Datsun 510. Hit your Walmarts right now. Talk to your friends in Brazil. Talk to your friends in Mexico. Find a way to get all the wagons if you can, if you want them. I sure do. So this one was a must-have. I truly dig it. Congratulations to Japanese Nostalgic Car for this cool livery. I'm happy to have it in my collection. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.